Right, we're going to look at 50-50 guard. Uh, the name 50-50 guard should tell you that it's not a very clever place to go, right? And um, apparently when John Danaher invented leg locks, yeah, um, he discovered that Ashley Garami um, stopped it much better than 50-50 guard. Amazing what he discovered in it. But I've never been a big fan of 50-50 guard. Everyone went through a phase of using it. Um, mm. But what we're going to look at is we're just going to look at at 50 50 guard and uh, basically what to do when people are using it against us and how to attack from it pretty safely. Now, I'm going to teach you some old, old techniques. They're very old techniques, but they're really effective and they work today, actually, from catch up in, in the 50s. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at 50 50 guard. So, what is 50 50 guard? Okay, so me and uh, Graham have our knees on the inside. Our foot, so feet are on the inside, and we are basically in exactly the same position. Okay, my leg is in here, his leg is in here, the heels on the inside. So this is 50-50 guard. Okay, it's a very dangerous place to be in because he can attack my heel and I can attack his his heel, and it's the law of um, leg locks that if he knows a little bit more than me, I'm fucked. If I know a little bit more than him, he's fucked. Okay, so the last time I got heel hooked was in 50-50 guard and it was by him and it was because I stupidly was just jabbing my heel when I was attacking his heel, alright? I thought it was 50-50 guard, but silly. Anyway, this is 50-50 guard and what traditionally people do is they triangle this leg up and they hold it in tight here, okay? So, yeah, it's a, it's a good idea and it works and stuff, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at an old school way of using 50-50 guard. I, I can never be put flat on my back, so we need to do it in a different way. So I'll swap legs. <laughs> so, this is the old school way of doing it, and um, it works. Okay? So, when I land in 50 50 guard, the problem with triangling the legs is it turns my hip inwards and it turns it towards him. And it means that he has access to my legs, which is sticking out in this direction. Okay? So, I, I, I don't want to do that. So, as soon as someone gets me in 50 50 guard, I go to panic stations because I know he's going to attack me. So what the first thing I do is I turn my hips the other way and I put my heels next to his hip. Okay, I've got his knee, his knee is there, and he can't spin out now because my lat is holding his uh, leg against my thigh and his knee is being held pretty securely in here. So one of his escape methods is to clear his knee and step over. He can't do that anymore. I lock in and I go tight. I'm going to base here, okay? And my first, my first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my elbow and I slide it across the shin and I put my hand in here. And then, I'm not going to do this, but in the good old days of catch wrestling, I would clap my hands together and lie on this shoulder. So imagine, imagine, that this is underneath this heel. My heels are tucked tight, my knees are squeezed, I clap my hands, and then I go here. As you can imagine, that's going to do an incredible amount of damage very quickly. Completely rip these ligaments apart, okay? So we'll do that one more time. I've landed in 50-50 guard. My first response is, oh shit, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to my hip as soon as I possibly can. So I slam my hip to the ground and a base. I'm gonna crunch my way to here. If he's sensible, he'll be grabbing his arm. He'll be doing something, he'll be trying to make sure he doesn't get hurt. My heels go into his hip and they're pushed in deep and I push everything in this direction, hold it tight. This elbow slides up his shin until I feel where his uh, heel is and I go underneath the heel. And then I'm not going to do it because I like Graham. Then I go here. Okay, and it's a very quick dangerous movement. If he doesn't tap to that heel hook, because you just ripped his knee apart and you didn't feel the ligaments go, the next one is to push down the, the foot with my elbow, slide to the toe, and then, <laughs> sorry, and then push down on the foot, okay? So it's not particularly a toe hold, it's an ankle extended, okay? If that doesn't work, we then turn the toes towards his groin, Okay, so the only problem with this 
as it is now going to 100. So, 50 50 guard, catch wrestling in style. Where we take it from there, then, is in the modern game, I don't want to be in 50 50 guard, okay? I want to go to outside ashes as soon as I can. Safest spot for me. So, as soon as I land here, I put my heels in. I'm not even thinking about going for that heel hook. Firstly, because if I apply that heel hook, I'm being a dick. Yeah? Because he doesn't have time to catch me that heel hook. So squeeze my knees together. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the shoulder just like I did before, but I pop everything out in front of me. Okay? So the leg now passes to this side. My elbow goes over the top and I collect it in. And I put my weight on it. Lift my shoulder. The leg is tucked. Underneath here, the heel is prevented. My forearm is under the heel, and then I can finish it with an outside ashes. Okay, so one more time. In the modern game, I don't want to fuck up Bernie's legs. So, heels go in, get on my hip, strong. I'm going to do the same movement pattern. Wrist on the shin, everything's in tight. Pop my hips, bring the leg out and across. Over the top of the elbow, bring it in tight, shoulder weight, forearm under, try and rotate or usher with a uh, heel hook. Okay, so if you didn't use 50 50, uh, this is a real good system, being safe and going to um, the outside ashes. If you're going to um, wreck somebody's knee from that position, a little bit of a knob, all right? But you can't wreck people's knees if you want to. Just be anything. Okay?